Now, he was known for his secrecy, his secrecy um, because he kept his thoughts and his thought process and his strategies going into every single game to himself. Right. This helped him maintain an element of surprise and dominance over his opponents. Now, I've seen many clips, many documentaries and other people have spoken about this man. Um, you know, they call him, I think, Black Jesus. Now, I want to put it out there that has been documented that Jordan would go as far as creating a fictional conflict between him and an opponent he was about to face in his mind. That way, it would give him the edge he needed to dominate that opponent on game night. So think about that. That means his opponent could have been the, the nicest person on planet Earth. But you can't necessarily go to war against a nice person. That makes you look like the evil doer. So he has to fabricate some of these situations. Sometimes it's just as simple as the way he looked at me when we were walking down, you know, the, the hallway of the to, to the locker rooms or or whatever. Or maybe he made a comment about somebody else. And I'm taking it and saying, well, no, you're making a comment about, you know, all players. And maybe I'm I'm interpreting it as you're talking about me, right? In 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 coded language. 